alongside the past, the Beyonce past? I'll be honest. I mean, Tim, you're aware of international. You are like flex here. I've always said that. I always life changing like situation. Not a life changing, but it'll make you bitter at night. You sure? Oh, man. It, I think it, he'll it's... be swinging a lot harder at that next tournament. Next, the US yeah. Open, he's going to be on point. Yeah, he might actually focused. He might be actually hitting that second hole hard. Yeah, divorce will make you get up early the next morning and go to work. Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's happened to a few people who work on this station. Okay, then. So that's good advice. Now, Jay Z. Yeah, you got him in trouble. See, you, you got him who? in trouble because who? He, he Jay Z came here. Because you think he was on this show, we should put him on, put it put it out there. Yeah, you did. Because he he didn't he was saying nothing like that any other place. You know? Do you know him to be aggressive or to start? He said something about me first on your show, Tim. You it must have gone over my head at the time. Yeah, I right, well, look. <laughs> What happened is, what happened? What you was happened? talking to him about the Kanye West. He was actually sitting where you're sitting right now. Right, right. About the Kanye West thing. And I mm. said at that point uh, that I, Kanye wouldn't have came and took no trophy from me. Mm. And Jay goes, uh, let's get it straight. Nobody's afraid of 50 Cent. Let's, oh, let's be put clear. put it out there. Nobody's yeah. afraid of 50 Cent. Put it out there random from nowhere. Yeah, but really he should have been making it clear with you. Which he didn't. He didn't make it clear with you that he's not a punk. See, what he, at that point, his safe presentation, he's not identifying with the transition and difference and the perception of Jay-Z. Now he's really safe, and, and people feel comfortable with him because they know he's not going to do anything inappropriate or try not to is, is inappropriate. Meanwhile, when he's saying he's not afraid of 50 Cent, why would you have to make that clear when no one's ever asked me if I'm afraid of Jay-Z? It was random at the time. Yeah. Came from nowhere. He probably didn't mean it. How did you feel about it? It was interesting. It just was something to address because it was public. If it was something that was being said behind the scenes, I would have probably said, well, anybody that would openly be afraid of somebody would be a complete punk where I'm from. So maybe he ain't as soft as he looks. But he does look like his presentation is really safe. Even the glasses. What do the glasses represent? Intelligence, right? A nerd, maybe? Four eyes? What What are some of the things that come along with you being a nerd? Like, don't hit a guy with four eyes. Like he doesn't want any trouble. It makes you more approachable, doesn't it? Alongside the past, the Beyonce past? I'll be honest. I mean, Tim, you're aware of international. You are, like, flex. Yeah, I've always said that. I always felt like that, right? And um, there ain't never been no 50 Cent Jay-Z conversations questioning whether there was a competition between the two of us. There's a huge difference in energy internationally in 50 Cent and Jay-Z. In fact, his largest selling record sold 430-something thousand copies. My largest selling records, plural, Two of them sold five million. That's get rich or die trying and massive. You know, so it's a huge difference in who we are with each other internationally. Let them be fooled in America and think there's a competition there. Because America can be purchased. We can buy it with marketing dollars. You see what I'm saying? But the rest of the world, there's not enough marketing dollars to go around to change the way the rest of the world feels about you. Mm -hmm. You know, and but the work that Beyonce did makes it great because she did a lot of traveling, a lot of work. Even Kelly's career is a reflection of that. Having a number one record mm -hmm. 